We're gonna go up the Skyway through Mayo Clinic Square. I'm gonna take you over to City Center and then we're gonna go outside and see some amazing showcase displays. My name is Joan Vorderbergen and I'm the Cultural District Arts Coordinator for Hennepin Theatre Trust. Okay, here we go! Made Here is the largest storefront initiative in the nation. It's a project that pairs Minnesota-based creativity and artists with vacant commercial storefronts. I love riding escalators backwards! The goal of Made Here is to make a walkable urban gallery experience for the community. Made Here is the largest storefront initiative in the nation, and I am, feel kind of okay to say in the world. <laughs> It is in its fifth iteration. We have 60 artists and 20 students in 44 different installation sites over 15 city blocks, as well as the Mall of America. This space is all gonna be retail at some point. So actually, this is just here for now. So think of it as a vacant storefront. Ultimately, Made Here wants viable tenants in these spaces. We want business and retail and economic vitality in our downtown. Made Here does flip out biannually, so we have two open calls every year. This is the first time that I've been a part of the Made Here project. I had created this piece this summer and I thought it was something that would hopefully get accepted. You know, you, you don't want to put it out there unless you kind of feel you have a chance. So I was really excited to get this opportunity because it's like a public appearance. We really cared about allowing anybody to participate in Made Here, and I mean to the point where you may not even identify as an artist, but you might have a good idea about something that you want to showcase. We also work with mid-career and professional artists. We've had some artists whose work is owned at MIA and exhibited in Europe. These more recognizable names really raise everybody up. It's too close to the edge, right? I love the idea that it's accessible to the public and that it's out of a gallery setting. So the way it reads, it could be really diverse depending on where you're coming from, like what are you doing, if it's just the way you're passing through, changes the way you read the work. My biggest priority is that this project has something that you can connect to. We've actually worked our way into being able to talk about some different social justice issues and some community issues. Because it's public realm, I'm seeing an increase in, in artists really addressing community issues. And we do want to inspire conversations. My biggest hope is that people will take a pause in their day, reflect or think about what it is that they're looking at. I love the notion of artists being able to connect people in our community and Made Here is, is really good at that. Congratulations, great job.